Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tigers have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. start of this game and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by coke zero real coca-cola taste zero calories enjoy everything chase is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Missouri's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. They come out on an empty backfield. 36, 36. He scrambles. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. And he's going to come up with a sack. So we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. I think it was a great play call. And it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Enough for the first down. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Now he tries to buy some time. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle around the 8-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. point so a seven play 75 yard drive and they put up seven points Brad, i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown game. missouri is ready to kick it away he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 29 yard line The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Excellent 
cancel an open field tackle. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's at midfield. Gets to around the 42. Yard line. First down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 16 yard line. First down. Some hard at the 23 yard line. Second down and 17. Ball on the 23 yard line. Taken down at the 13. That's a gain of 10 on the ball. That makes it 37. Here's the eighth play of the series. And the goal line defense digging in here. Toss left taken down behind the line. They're at the eight. It's second down. comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 70-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Florida to kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made at the 42. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Down he goes at the 43 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. The Tigers have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He 
he's knocked out of bounds around the 46 yard line that's a pickup of about three that's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere butler awaiting the return And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he shoved out of bounds around the 38-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they make the stop at about the 35. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Steps out of bounds. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. From their own 40 yard line. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Six-yard line. Third down. They'll line it up again on third down. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes the catch and look out. Steps out of bounds around the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Just inside the five. Second down. They come out in a goal line set. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at some scores around the country. The top team roll. SMU in front, 10 0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Chase has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Taylor from the seven. Oh, he got nailed on that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Richards with the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it 16 and 10. Mike 12. Mike 12. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 27. He lets it go. And it's the senior. That's a great tackle at the 49. Quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Throw in left. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And so now the ball's turned over on down. hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida, up seven points. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. It. He's in space. Brought down around the 41 yard line. Impressive gain there by the do it all back. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. 
Tackle at the 40. That's a team on the team. First down. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There go. Throws complete. He's hammered. Williams is on top of the ball at the 33-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Go! Caught and out of bounds after a short game. Game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. Eight. Eight. Florida is up a score. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 17. That's a deal. Let's go. First down. He steps out around the 11 yard line. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. This is the 10th play of this drive. Kicks away, and he got it. probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, we played a half of football. The Gators with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Williams from the two. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Quick pass, and he hits him hard at the 34-yard line. Cook with the tackle at the 34-yard line. That brings them second and five. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he is drilled at the 30. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. Right 
They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Cunningham to punt. And down he goes at the 32. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Steps up in the pocket. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Very good tackle in space. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. They come out in a five-wide set. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. On touchdown. So there's the quick pass to the receiver for six. And the receiver does a nice job here of fighting off the defender to get to the ball. That was a nice pitch and catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Red Raiders, relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. The Red Raiders are out front, 14-10. All right, Reese, back to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Bird from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Missouri's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. They're set to go for another round. Florida is up a field goal. Now he's flushed and they got it. So the sack makes this a second and long. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. hoping for another sack here on third and long. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. Taylor is back deep to return. Room around the corner. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. 
but maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Mustangs strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Mustangs are on top, 17-14. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 28. And for Williams, he's been all over the field for this defense. Well, this is what you call a complete defensive end. He's not just a pass rush specialist. He's done a great job of shedding his blocks filling in the gaps and also taking away the running game. The thing I like is they're mixing up their looks and they're doing a good job of making the quarterback uncomfortable. In a game this tightly contested, it comes down to which defense is playing better. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Big opening! And he's tackled after positive yardage. So at the end of the third quarter, this game is all tied up, 17. Well, we're all tied up now as we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Scrambling around. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Well protected. Now he's going to run with it. He's tackled at the 47. First down. First down. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Got the corner. Makes it to the 44. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They line up in the jumbo set. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Gaining two yards. That makes it first and ten. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. 
Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of five on the ball. That brings him second and five. From the 37 yard line, second down. They come out in a goal line set. Great gets the carry. He's brought down in the open field. Here's the eighth play of the series. the 36 looks like they're gonna go for it on fourth down just under three to go in regulation he's on the run brought down around the 21 yard line call it a gain of 15 yards first down And this is the 10th play of the drive. Watch 41, watch 41. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, defense. Up, up, up. He's into the open field. That's a great tackle at the three. That's good for a game of 18 yards. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, fourth quarter, all tied up. What's it going to be? Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Gators. Makes the PAT. Chase has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taylor fields it at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Tigers have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Around the 47 yard line. He's scrambling. And they push him out right around the 36 yard line. Six yard line. It's first down. He's out of bounds around the 28 yard line. Try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He gets rid of this one. 
Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Receiver screen incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 14. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Now he's scrambling. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Defense and their short yardage package. Run, run, run. Touchdown, Mizzou. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Moore gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Late here in the fourth quarter now in a tie football game. And it looks like, barring another score, we might be headed to overtime. Under a minute left. And they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense.
He gets hit out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 23. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. He flings it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Hokies were ranked 21st. They got the W, but it wasn't overly impressive. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Hokies get the W, 31-24. In other action, the Wildcats arrive at this one ranked in the top 10, number 10 in the nation. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. Kentucky gets the win by seven. Touchdown difference here, Reese, 31-24. First and 10, ball on the 25. Set, blue nut. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 14-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 12. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires it out. Touchdown, Missouri! It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. From the 25-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out. Out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Pass and hit hard as he came down with it. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. 
Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. It's up, and the field goal is good. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. Play action, throws, end zone. Well, they knew exactly what they had to do here to win this football game, and they went out and did it. It's been a battle the entire game, and I don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this W. Lawrence's stats today, again, are off the charts, and they continue to be all season long. Unfortunately, they don't get the win. Yeah, the team loses the game, but for him individually, he continues to show the nation why he's one of the best at his position. We had a fight to the finish here today. Florida, 37, Missouri, 34. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.